We're expecting allies and the Ukrainian government teamed up to coordinate anti-Trump material. Peter Hassan of the Daily Caller reminded everyone of a political report detailing the coordination between the two. Democratic National Committee operative Alexandra Kalupa, the famous Kalupa family, met with the Ukrainian government officials for dirt on Paul Madison. Yeah, it'll only have tanks. Once Madison officially became Lewandowski's replacement, Kalupa shared her opposition research on Manafort with the DNC, and they were ecstatic about it. Quote, Thank you much. The Ukrainian president, Petro Poroshenko, talked about Manafort's ties to the former pro-Russian president of Ukraine, Viktor Vanyatskov, whom Manafort previously advised. The embassy declined to arrange the meeting, but was nevertheless helpful. Kalupa told Politico. So there you have official government collusion against the Trump campaign. If I asked the question, they would provide guidance. Or if there was someone I needed to follow up with, she said, but added that there were no documents giving, nothing like that. Kalupa also told Politico that the Ukrainian embassy worked directly with reporters and uncovering dirt on Manafort and Trump. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's not only a smoking gun, that's a smoking howitzer. A smoking howitzer. And the Senate Intelligence Committee and the House Intelligence Committee don't care. And the Senate Judiciary Committee and the House Judiciary Committee don't care. And this is controlled by Republicans. former Ukrainian embassy official Andrei uh, uh, Yabadabadu admitting that he was assigned to work with Kalupa and that they were coordinating an investigation with the Hillary team with the Hillary team of Paul Manafort the DNC simply claimed that Kalupa's coordination with the Ukrainian government